Hi, it's Dean Delonix. Welcome to episode six of Self, Health and Wealth. I'm joined today by Richard Adams. Say hi, Richard. Hello. So, Richard, how long have we known each other? Ooh, 15 years. It must be, been, hasn't it? It must be 15 years. That's from working with each other. We used to be at the dreaded Phones for You. Phones for You in um, Pontefract first, wasn't it? First in Pontefract, yeah. Pontefract and then That's in Castleford. The and those were good days. Brilliant days. We used to make shit loads of money. Robbing money. But it was back when phones were kind of just a, a new thing, and especially smartphones when they came out. But what was the first phone you sold? First phone I sold must be a Nokia. <laughs> what, Nokia, the, probably uh, a 5110 or something like you that. You started for me then, didn't you? Because yeah. I, I didn't really... Might have been a Samsung, actually, with a D5. That's it, the D5 yeah. was what I remember. Before touchscreens. They were great. I mean, what, when you could actually demo to people, you know, it's got a camera on it and, yeah. and that. I mean, it was... It was like a brand new, brand new thing. Yeah, it was one that it was. It was, um, yeah, it completely changed everything. And then when you could use things like YouTube and uh, and go online and browse through the phones, that's when I think our sales just went. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Was, obviously the iPhone launch and stuff was great. Yeah. And that was commissions was so good. It did change towards the end, but there was so much opportunity. Oh, really, really, they were really good days. Really fun place to work. Loads of great people and lots of lots of new skills. The hiring, <clears throat> the interview, because I, I was hiring people, it was a different way of hiring than any other business I've been in, because the focus wasn't on, like, I didn't really care about people turning up on time. Mm. I, I kind of did, of course, but I knew the type of people we were employing probably wouldn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> or any paperwork properly. Yeah. It was just about selling, selling. No matter, it don't matter how you do it, just get them phones knocked out, won't it? And I remember changing, helping change the hiring policy so that we would hire more people who were, not, not, I don't say on the spectrum, pirates. <laughs> I, <don't know> <laughs> pirates. I kind of wanted people who maybe wouldn't pass the reading and writing tests. Yeah. But with people who sometimes have difficulty in educational skills, uh, arithmetic, tend to be much better at social skills. Yeah. So, you know, the people who can have a hold of conversation and can win you over, they're the people who sold the most funds. Mm. And man... It was just a... You had to create a bit of theatre, didn't you? And it would, like, drama and yeah. building that rapport with customer. And we were just talking outside about how it made us into... We were many of the people we are today, without oh, a doubt. Absolutely. But we weren't very nice people. No. <laughs> and, then, and we were just because I and I was and another video I've talked about um, how about this new awakening now in the world and people are now coming to terms with their you know mental health and, and I, you said quite genuinely I don't, I don't feel I was a very nice person back no. then and I was it fucking me neither. We being a nice person didn't sell phones did it? No, it one is the best store. Loads of time here. Yeah. Holidays with one incentives with one. Was absolutely great. Anyway, I just Richard, tell us a little bit about yourself and, and, and what, what we really want out of this today. So, I'm here today just to talk to Dean a little bit about weight loss, um, going to the gym, building muscle. I mean, I'm not as big as I was now, but I've lost quite a bit through COVID. But uh, the knowledge is still there, and uh, I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about what I've done and my experiences with gym, um, and how it can improve your mental health. And, you know, I remember um, when we were working together, we went through a period of really booked out, didn't you? Oh, yeah. You got in fantastic shape, and that must take a certain level of dedication. Yeah, it's, um, it's a bit of discipline and um, consistency. Mm -hmm. You've got to make that like a habit. And you've got a priority, if, if that's something that you want. I always like, used to watch all these like Rocky films and right, Rocky yeah. films and I was like, I want to be that. That's what I want to be. Yeah. I want to be strong. I want, I want big muscles. So <laughs> that, I like my driving thing. Yeah. Um, so I've always been into it on and off. But you, like I say, you've got to make that a priority. Obviously people have kids and families and stuff, but like back then, you know, I always put that before anything else. 
and I do your dedication was yeah. was real because even when we'd have pizza days at the, at the shop when we'd sell to them or we'd do the changeover you really didn't no not really no, 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 no. I mean I was being very um, yeah very envious of how how good you were strict you were yeah I mean I, I've never stuck to that strict science of it because I've never had a massive issue with no. being overweight no, no, no. so I've just kind of eaten what I wanted within reason yeah it's just getting all that food in for me. I, I struggled with, you know, putting that size on. So I just think more is, you know, I just need to eat more. Yeah. Um, obviously, that's different for me. <laughs> yeah. Well, so what, what Richard done is actually put together a, a diet plan for me. I don't know if you've got your phone on you, have you? Yeah. I'm a, I'm a, we'll just have a little quick run through what that diet plan looks like. So try and find we were talking, I was talking to Richard about um, the amount of weight I lost in the first week was quite high. And that's quite normal, apparently, for the, the kind of thing uh, when you at my sort of size and you're trying to lose. And um, but it's kind of plateaued a wee bit, so I need to go down really over this next week. And I, and, and Richard was right; he, he didn't want me to lose too much too quick for many different reasons. Um, so I'm aiming, aiming for this this week now going forward to drop two pounds, maybe three pounds if I can get there. And uh, it's got a plan that hopefully might might get me through that. So take me through what we've got on day one. So day one, just before we start, you don't want to lose too much weight too quick. So you want to be just doing one or two pounds a week, which is fine. Um, and this meal plan, if you stick to this, you're more likely to stick to the gym routine as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. So on day one, day one, we split it up into five meals. So on the first meal, half a cup of oatmeal, maybe water. Okay. Yeah. Now, if I said that sounds disgusting, porridge. And yeah, I've got loads porridge. Loads. Loads. Replace that with porridge if you wanted that. Okay, and the difference between milk and water is big, is it? Well, yeah, milk. You're going to put more weight on the milk, aren't you? Yeah. So if if you have it with water, your body can absorb that quicker as well. Okay. All so right. that's it. Because I got the oats. I don't eat yeah. porridge oats or anything. I thought, okay, this might be good, and I'm assuming that's because it, it keeps you full for longer as well. Yeah. If you have that in the morning. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and then I thought, what could I? put with it if I could flavour it and I thought just some fruit might be nice yeah there. I mean half a cup of strawberries okay something like that anything with water and that just kind of freaked me out a bit with the water bit but yeah no um, it's not as bad as you think it's like with protein shakes I don't put milk in my protein no shakes. no I just put water in you, can, do people do that you can put milk water a few fruit juice right, okay so you can do that um, so yeah half a cup of strawberries and then just six egg whites cooked with one yolk and that's all one meal yeah okay that's going to be one good. meal that's it. Meal two, so one hand side portion of broccoli, mm -hmm. half ounce of chicken breast. Yeah. Beautiful. Pretty plain, but broccoli, really good. And really good, good training. You see, for me, it's, and I think for a lot of people who, who are on diets thinking, hey, it's not working, I think it's it's quite simple, isn't it? Yeah. But like, I'd be thinking, oh, I've got to add a sauce to this. And that, but that again, that adds quite a lot, doesn't it? So if yeah, I'm, that's the main thing. I mean, like I say. You forget about all the extra things I put on the plate. Yeah. You think, oh, I'm just having chicken breast and broccoli. And a three cream cheese sauce. You know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it just renders it fine. Yeah, yeah. Really that way. Um, meal three. I've just got to put tuna sandwich. Six ounce. Uh, tuna with spring water. Yeah, I've got that, yeah. Uh, two slices of brown bread. <laughs> and one teaspoon of fat-free mayo. Two lettuce leaves. That's it. Teaspoon. So not a... <laughs> no. No. No, no, no. What? Oh, yeah, this is all right. Fat free mayo as well. You can get fat free mayo, yeah. can you? Alright, okay, so I'm going shopping today. I did the I did this diet last week, uh, which you sent me a week ago. But I just know I've not you just give yourself leeway when you're only thinking, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, just like, oh just tuna sandwich, right? Yeah. And you think, God, this is lovely, isn't it? I can't believe I'm going to wait. I mean this massive tuna sandwich, you know. Yeah. But yeah, no, you're right about the getting the portions right. Yeah. Um, so Dean's already told me that it doesn't take protein shakes, they're not absolutely essential but I've always done it, but just um, one or two scoops of whey protein, mm -hmm. it's just a quick way of getting another meal in there, alright, and then your, your last meal, chicken salad, 8 ounce chicken breast, um, two medium sized tomatoes, two lettuce leaves with broccoli again. Okay, yeah, and I think... Getting in the right habit, so we won't go through every day. No, but that's no, that's but that's the idea. Yeah, that's the and idea. I saw you had some like steaks in there. Yeah, steak. I love steak. steak. Not too much steak. What? One or two. 
of those a week, I'd say. Okay, no, that's all right then, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not nice, too. nice big tomahawk, yeah, fatty fucking steaks. <laughs> I can do that, yeah, that's easy. No, I, I guess you mean like fillet steak or... Yeah, but I mean, you can have like, like, you know, like, you can do things like pork stir fries and things like that. Mm-hmm. And, you know, just incorporate that into that. Just be creative, but be sensible. And at the outside, you're saying about dropping down the carbs and replacing with protein. Yeah, one of the basics, and obviously without bringing any calories down as well. Yeah. But that's one of the main things. Like I said before, you don't want to lose too much weight too quick because you can risk, obviously you're going to lose body fat, but you're at risk of losing muscle mass then as well. And that's just pointless. Mm-hmm. All right, you want to be reducing your fat and increasing muscle mass at the same time. Good. Well, I'll go through this diet. So I'm going to go to the shops today. Um, I'll go to the shops today. And I'll get these and I'm going to stick to it exactly with a few weird changes because of the family what we all eat as a family but I'll, I'll get the the basics right and we'll see what happens at the end of this week now yeah tell me a little bit about about gym work because i've been doing a lot of low impact stuff because I, I injured my ankle it's still bad but if i do cardio that's kind of low impact but like long distance stuff like i go on the steps and i do that for like 30 40 minutes um and then i go and do some weights some free yeah. weights were you saying about short and sharp cardio? Yeah. So, a good, there's this idea, a good way to lose weight, um, short, sharp, so like for example, just running around on the street, run to a lamppost, walk to the next one, mm-hmm. then run to the next one. A lot of boxers and athletes train this way. Um, and that has, that has like a short, sharp effect. Is that what I'm, am I right to this high intensity? Yeah, high intensity. intensity yeah. Training. And like if it's, I was if I was gonna go to the gym, I would do like ten minutes cardio mm-hmm. at the beginning, just to warm up, and then maybe an half an hour weight session, and then at the end do another 10, 15 minutes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just running on the treadmill or rowing. Rowing was one that I'm interested in. Rowing, yeah, yeah. I always feel awkward in a new any new, you know, any yeah. machine you use, you think, oh, I can't do that. But I think, I know somebody who lost a lot of weight rowing. Which yeah. all he fucking did, got a rowing machine. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And he went, whoop, was yeah, that to row it. it. But I got used to it, and now I just watch TV and do it. If you see people, you know, with like the rope, you know, doing this. Yeah. That's, that's another great one. Is it really, yeah? What's yeah. For the fat loss. Oh, yeah, brilliant, mate. Oh, using right. a lot of muscles and, you know, swimming. Using loads of different muscles there, and I love swimming. And I think COVID put a lot of people off swimming, didn't it? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think getting back to that would be would be a good idea. Yeah. With gym though, the weights, the main things you should be doing. Don't just concentrate. Oh, I'll do my triceps, do my biceps, <laughs> squats, squats, deadlifts, and bench. If you do those three main things and just incorporate that into your weightlifting routine, and then with your cardio, that's enough. Let's talk about bench for a bit because. Numbers fly around. When you're trying to get information about the kind of weights that you should weight you should be lifting, mm. that kind of my size and stuff. Because it's almost like talking about how big should your penis be. Mm. People throw a bullshit out there, and uh, what what weight would be? Because I'm guessing I don't want to be doing just like whoa, I can do two of this. Yeah, I want to be doing kind of regular reps, right? So if I was, let's say if I was competing in a strongman competition, <laughs> yeah. I'd be looking to do two reps of something. Yeah. So like on the on the second rep, I'm absolutely shaking. Right. And that's not what I would do. No, no. You want to be doing <coughs> 12 to 15 reps. So on that 15 rep, you, you can just squeeze that last rep out. Yeah. That's how you know that weight's right for you. Okay. There's nothing stopping you taking a notebook with you and recording. The following week, you know, mm-hmm. up that another two and a half kilogram. Yeah, on each side if you're doing bench, for example. And does it matter if you incline or anything like that on, on those? Well, there's, there's incline, decline, flat bench. Just do flat bench. If you're doing incline, that's going to hit the top of your chest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, decline is more towards the bottom. Yeah, and flat so it's just a general. Okay, chest flat might be better. Just, 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 you don't have to go too much into it. I just see all the different ones, and it, yeah, because you never. And again, you just don't want to ask anyone. Yeah, because you're a man, you're walking. Thinking, Exactly just start off just simple for you and as you're doing it yourself you'll learn you know for your own experience what's working for you and you'll get more confident and you'll be trying different exercises yeah but just to begin with just keep it simple well thanks for that richard thanks for telling us about the diet so i'm going to work now this week tirelessly am i all right to come back maybe for another 
follow up interview with you at some time. Yeah, we'll follow your journey yeah. and uh, the progress. That you've <laughs> Thank you. Um, what about kind of? We've done a lot of talk about self. So we, the, 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 it's called self health and wealth. So yeah. we're, we're obviously the health's covered now, I think. But about yourself, how have you been through the COVID lockdown? Um, before COVID. I mean, I was in the best shape of my life. I, I, I was amazing. I just got married. Um, COVID happened. Couldn't get to the gym. I'm a postman, so I walk a lot. So doing nine miles a day, weight just dropped off me. Mm. Felt really shit. Um, I did get some weights and put them in the garden. And then I just been in the kitchen looking at them like, I just can't be asked. Yeah. And, you know, you just start drinking on a night and that becomes like a routine and takes over your gym routine. and. I just got to a place where I just felt shit about myself and I didn't want to do anything and you can't just sit about and let that take over. You've got to make that change and you've got to get up in the morning. When the gym's reopened, I just thought, you know what, I'm just going to go. Mm -hmm. Even if half an hour showing up, that is half the battle. So just showing up at the gym. If you could just show up, just do 20 minutes, half an hour. Mm -hmm. The next day, 40 minutes. You can't just sit around and just do nothing. If you're feeling happy, you've got to do something about it. And gym, it's not just about looking good for me. It gives my life structure and routine. And then once I've done it and I'm walking out of the gym, I feel I feel great. I feel yeah. a lot better. Oh, that's some really good advice. So if there's anyone at home and just thinking, you know, anxious about going to gym and, you know, anything like that, honestly, it's just do it. Just get up and go and do it and it'll become a lot easier and it'll become a habit then. Yeah, I think that's. I think that's. I think. I think there's a lot to be said about um, the me your mental health with getting exercise. And I think even getting rid of some of that energy and some of that tension yeah. as well. I think is important. Mm -hmm. And I think you know we we're, we're not challenged as men as we used to be when we had rural jobs. So we had a lot of lifting. We had you know work, manual work, farm work, mines. That's it. And, and now we we're getting more desk jobs, or at least even working from home. People aren't even walking to the no, car no. and walking to work. And that's it. And then when you see, so if, you, if you see someone you haven't seen for a long time and you, you've actually changed your body and they give you a compliment, yeah. that's going to like spur you on even more. So, you know, like I say, it's just about don't be scared about it or anything. Just just do it. Just so do it. if you had to give, you can think about this. I'm going to ask you for Richard Adams' top five tips to be in things like depression, sadness, and just getting your life in order. So I'm going to kind of sign off for that. I'll let Richard have a little think about his five tips and we'll put them on there. Um, so I'm going to take you to the gym later on today. I'll take you some videos of me trying to get through some of this work that Rich has done. And I'll, I'll do a bit of work with the cooking that I'm going to be doing with my new recipes on the, from Rich's diet plan. I'll take you through the diet plan in detail. And I'll also talk to you a little bit about all the amazing gigs we've been doing that's helped in increasing the wealth that I want to kind of get in the next uh, eight months or so. Um, we're getting further on in the journey now. I hope you're enjoying what you're watching. So I'll, I'll go back to you, Richard. What would be your top five? So one of the most important things, make sure you get enough sleep. Yeah. Um, especially if you are training. Uh, make sure you get enough sleep. Your diet, controlling your diet. Making sure you're going to the gym. Even if you start off three days a week, no more than five, you want like two rest days. So I'll probably do Monday, Tuesday, have Wednesday off, you know, or a Saturday and a Sunday if you want. Um, if you are feeling anxious about it, going to the gym on your own, ask a friend or someone if, you know, if they want to go with you. Um, at least then you're not on your own until you get yourself into that routine. It's good motivation as well as next year. Yeah, and you don't want to go, you think, I can't let him down. Yeah, and again, like, you might, it might be three or four weeks you've been going to the gym and you haven't seen much change or you might be weighing yourself every day. Don't be weighing yourself every day. Do it once a week on a Sunday or something like that. And if you don't see anything straight away, just keep at it because it will come. Trust me, it will come. Nice one, Richard. Right. Great stuff. We'll see Richard again later on. We'll do a follow-up interview in a week or two. Thanks, guys. Cheers. I hope you enjoyed that. We'll hopefully get Richard back on again soon. So looking at Richard's diet plan, um, one of the meals in there is a nice steak with a jacket potato and some greens and some vegetables. So I've got this prepared. So I've seasoned my steaks, just salt and pepper, but I'm going to leave them come to room temperature 
and I'm going to be cooking them in about 30 40 minutes time so I'll let them come to room temperature I'm going to do these um, medium rare which means it's going to heat up the pan just going to pop them in for three and a half minutes or four minutes they're quite thin about three and a half minutes each side and then just got to leave them rest so I'll leave them rest for a good 15 minutes while I'm cooking the veg just going to do some carrots some green uh, fine beans some broccoli got a bit of thyme and garlic just to throw in the pan at the end with the steaks but I'm not going to use any more than a teaspoon of oil so I'm not going to do like they do uh, in the cookery shows with butter and everything uh, I've just got my baked potatoes in the oven I'll just leave them slowly cook as well so I'll show you the afters of what it looks like so there we have it we have a medium rare steak I've done a very light bernier sauce with creme fraiche, 50% fat free, just to give it a little bit of juices. The potato cooked fantastic, and I just roasted off those carrots next to the potato. There we go. Oh, and I've got to make a confession. I had a drink. Yeah, I was doing so well, and it was white wine. And I blame, who do I blame? Sterling and Kane, because it was 2-0 to it. England versus Germany, I thought. Fuck okay, it, I'm going to have a glass of wine to celebrate, which turned into a whole bottle of wine. But, as they say, when you make mistakes, own up to them and, and learn from them. So, uh, uh, it was worth it, though. It was a, it was a great match. Um, so, I wonder if I could show some highlights and not get kicked off YouTube. Uh, let's see if I get kicked off. I shouldn't do anyway. So, yeah, so I did have a drink. I've got to stop. You know, every now and again, I just kind of go, oh, do you know what? I really fancy a glass. And I've got to work on that. I've got to make sure that... Um, I don't give in to these temptations because the drink is what spirals everything out of control. So the drink is what you do to lift your mood when really you need to probably drink more water and do more exercise. So you have a drink to kind of celebrate the next day or even that night you start eating shit and that makes you feel shit about yourself. And then the next day you're, you're, you're kind of hungover, a bit lethargic, so you don't get to the gym, you don't work hard at work. You, uh, again, have a nice big fry up, you know, because you feel like something greasy. So alcohol is the start, or at least the start of the spiral of many of my problems. So did have a drink, didn't cause many problems actually, it was, I didn't have too much. But I need to learn from that to make sure I just curb those um, passions and curb those cravings before they become too much. I'm just changing my strings on my guitar. I went to the Rock Factory today in Castleford, lovely little shop there, so if you're interested in music, guitars and amplifiers and speakers and drums and stuff, get yourself down there, it's a great little place. I've been going there since I was four or five year old. Started playing guitar first when I was, yeah, four. My dad got me the first guitar from there and it was uh, really good, I think I've still got it somewhere, it's like a tiny little half size guitar. So I've got some new strings and a few of the bits and pieces because I'm playing tonight in York, really looking forward to that. Just uh, 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock because we've got the football on this evening. I think it's Italy playing, I think. Is it Spain or there today? I think it's Italy playing. So I'm just going to play a bit of nice cool music before that. I'll change my strings and uh, get prepared for a good set. Mm. Oh, and uh, I spoke to them about ordering a new guitar because it is my 40th coming up. I think I might have mentioned that before. So it's coming up in a few couple of weeks. Is it two weeks? Three weeks? And... Um, I want a particular guitar, so I'm after a, a new acoustic. It's a Gretsch, because this is a vintage. It's 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 not a great make, vintage, but to was fair, my mum and dad got me this for a, a present, I think for my 30th, and uh, yeah, and I've been playing it ever since. So it's nearly 10 years I've been playing this, and it's never gone wrong, it's never gone out of tune, it's never, well, it breaks strings every now and again, but it's very, very good, reliable guitar, but it's just on its way out now, so... Um, rather than get it fixed up. I think it's time to treat myself to something new. So I'm going to be putting this on for sale. So once I get it all cleaned up and that, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know and it's for sale. If anyone wants to purchase it, I'll give a really good price on it. But, um, but yeah, anyway, so I ordered this new Gretsch. Well, I wanted to order the Gretsch. And uh, they said they'd have to order it. So they got on the on the blower there to Fender, who I think are the people who own Gretsch. And uh, they said they can get it by December. And then they said, well, maybe not even then so the same december but it could be after that so they're not promising so that's just a bit too late for me so what i'll be doing is looking online um ringing up a load of shops to see if anyone's got it in stock or see if i can find a good second hand one um because i've got my heart set on that guitar i've used it on my vision wall of a year ago for something that i really wanted so i know it's it's going to come to me and i'll i'll get exactly what i want because it's a lovely big jumbo guitar and it should play really nice so um 
So yeah, I'll, I'll keep you posted on that to change the treatment to get ready for this evening. And so that's the end of the video. Really positive, really nice. Uh, it was great hearing from Richard. He's got some nice tips, good advice for me. Um, and it's great to be playing live. And, and I was just going to end the video like that, but that's just not real life sometimes, is it? Because you stumble, and I'm finding my real stumbling block. Well, I'll just let it explain itself. I've, I recorded this video not long after that gig. So have a look, see what you think, and uh, I think. I really need to be honest and I really need to do some bigger changes. Anyway, it's a bit embarrassing, but here, watch the video, see what you think. Hey. I just finished my gig, great gig. Now I come back home and I've had like three bottles of wine. And do I feel good? I've got a buzz, but it's not good, is it? So I know what I'm doing is wrong. I know drinking now is bad. I'm very, very drunk now. But I know what I'm doing is bad. I've got to stop this. So I'm doing this video to show Sober Dean that drinking is not good. It makes you feel good at the time. And I'm watching some cool... YouTube videos and some TikTok videos and shit like that, but <sighs> I'm smoking like shit as well. But it's not good. So here's a message to you, Sober Dean. You gotta stop drinking. Stop it. Just stop doing it. When you wanna buy that one bottle, don't stop at one because you can't stop at one, can you? You can't fucking stop at one. You keep going. So do it right, cut it out, it's fucking not worth it.